so let's continue the last video and let me create a endpoint that will check the username is exist or not i already have a endpoint that checking the user and sending back the result of that user similarly we have to implement the same kind of logic for the checking the username let me create that The endpoint will be the same I mean the endpoint will be the check username and uh, we have to pass the additional parameter called username on the URL then it will be a get request and I have to copy this above code because I had to find the user that exists on the database or not so user.find1 will first find the username that will exist or not and in the error comma result we will get the result back if we will get any error then it's mean the it's the, this is the internal error so we have to send back the status code as a 500 and uh, in the result if we get a result as a null then we will send a false as a response and we will get a result as a not null then we will send the response as a true because if you find any username on the database it means that the username is already exist so i will send a status as a true and if the username is not exist then we will send a status response as a false After doing this, I had to deploy this code on the Heroku. But let me show you the data we have in the MongoDB Atlas right now. You can see on the MongoDB Atlas that we have a one user data. And the username of this is devstack102. With help of this username, we will test our newly created API. Let me first deploy the code on the Heroku server. To do that, I have to add the, all the changes on the local space. To do that, I have to write the command git add dot. And then I had to commit the changes. Let me commit the changes and pass me a message, something like that. Then I will run the git push Heroku master to push the code on the Heroku server. It will first push the code on the Heroku server then it will deploy and run the server to the newly changes. Now we can test it. First let me copy this base URL first and we will test the newly created API on the postman. I will paste it and uh, you know that we are routing the API from the index.js to the user.js. So our API will be base URL slash user slash check user slash dev stack 102. No, I mean 
slash check username that will be perfect okay if i will hit the send then you can see the response that we are getting as a status true it's mean our api is running perfectly now it's time to integrate this on the flutter app let's do that this is the code we left in the last video please concentrate on this video carefully because i will cover some topic that will be very important first thing is that we have to set the header in the post method as a content type to the application slash json because we are working on the json data and uh, the second thing is we have to encode the body with json dot encode because we are sending the data as a json string so it will help to convert the data on a json string and the next thing is that we have to work on the get method for that i will copy the code and paste it on the get method because if only we will get a status code of 200 and 201 then i will send the response on the sign up page then i have to decode the json string into normal map function i mean this just before sending the data into the database we are encoding it similarly before using the json data we have to decode it first to do that we have to use the json.decode now it's time to work on the sign up page let me create the three variable and i will explain that how they can help us to validate a user the first thing is the error text to print the error that user name is already taken something like that we have to use the error text second thing is validate as a boolean type and the third thing is circular i will use the circular for for the showing the circular bar instead of sign up button if we click the sign up then i will replace the sign up button with this circular To do that, I had to use the circular variable first. If it will be true, then I will show the circular progress indicator. Otherwise, I will show the button. Now, let me implement a check username function where we will call the get API to check the user. With the help of validate and the error text, I will replace the validator in the text form field. Just be patient that how I will replace it. First, I will check the username length that if the username is 0, then I will set the state where I have to use the circular or not. Just don't bother about the circular right now and uh, i will put the validate as a false and the error text will be username can't be empty i mean if you don't have any data inside the username then i will print the error called username can't be empty in the else condition i will call the rest api let me implement that so do, to do that i will use the network handler which we created the object of the network handler class and then i will call the gate method and in the gate method i have to pass the api in points i have to pass the endpoints and our endpoints will be slash user slash check username and now i have to pass the username also 
so how we will access the username to do that we will use the dollar sign and inside the dollar sign we will call the user controller dot txt then we will get the username using that and now then I will write a condition where I will check the response status if it will be true then I will set the state that validate will be false and the error text will be username already taken I mean I'm using the validate as a false because if if we found this two condition it's mean the validation is not completed so I put it as a false and the error text will be to show the error in the else condition I will set state the validate as a true because we are getting a status as a false it's mean the user username is not exist on the database so the validation will be true now let's call the check user method after that tapping the sign up button to do that we have to call this inside the on tab our on tab will be async and await type and uh, I will call the check user over here and after calling the check user if the response will be good then our validate will be true otherwise it will be false let me use the validate in the if condition because we had to first check the validator of the other text form field then we have to validate the username uniqueness also if both will be true then we will send the data to the database we have to first set the state of the circular as a true after tapping the sign up button i will replace it the circular progress bar and we are and we are handling the circular progress bar with help of circular so until we will get the response the circular progress bar keep continuing after getting the response back we will set the circular as a false let's implement that also and uh, let me write a else condition to stop the circular progress bar if the validation is not successful then we will set the circular as a false and then our circular progress bar will be stopped and it will be replaced by the sign up button now let me add the await before the post method and after that I will set the circular as a false I am doing this right now to show you only that after the sign up is successful our circular progress bar will be go away but in the coming next video after the pressing the sign up button and the data will be successfully sent back to the database we will land into another screen and now I have to use the validate and the error text instead of validator let me do that first let me delete the validator function from here and uh, with the help of error text parameter inside the input decoration we will show the error we are handling the error with the validate variable if the validate variable will be true it means there is no error and the, our validation is successful then I have to send back a null if there is a validate is false then I have to print the error of the error text because in the error text only we are storing the we are setting the state that username can't be empty or the username is already taken okay so let me refresh the app now after refreshing it if i will put the gggg and i will press the sign up button you can see the circular progress bar 
and there is no any error message and if I will put the dev stack 102 which is already stored inside the mongodb at last server then we are getting the error text that username is already taken it means our API is working fine and our app is also working fine so let register a user let me put a email dev stack at the rate and the password 1234578 and if I will hit the sign up and we are getting a response ok let me show you on the mongodb at last database that our data is stored or not Now you can see that the data which we sent by our blog app is stored in the MongoDB Atlas server. The dev stack 103 and the password 1234578 and the email is stored. It means the sign up process is successful. And after that we had to land into the another screen. But we will do that thing into the another video. But our next part is to integrate the Facebook login and the sign up API integration in our blog app. Subscribe this channel to stay tuned because next video on the Facebook API integration. Thank you. Happy coding. See you on the next video.